Hey there and welcome back to my channel! My name's Georgina, I'm the Honest Vocal Coach. I teach singing all day every day when I'm not making videos like this one. And if you want to work with me as always, I can give you an honest critique of your voice, giving you a bit of help on how to improve your voice. All the links are down below and if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up and subscribe! So I've moved around a little bit today, I'm discovering areas of my new home where I can film. So I'm not using my usual microphone, I'm using a, it's very cool actually, it's a micro by Rode which is attached to my camera, but because it's a big room it'll sound a wee bit echoey. Anyway, so yes, this is my new front room, it's a big room, uh, it's not entirely finished yet, you can see that it's got this crazy fireplace in the background, but you know. Uh, it's a great house and it will be sorted eventually. Anyway, I am continuing with Eurovision today uh, and I'm doing it from a different part of my house just, just for, you know, so it's a little bit different. Uh, we've got Albania's revamp to look at and I've got a whole bunch of other ones that I want to get finished because they're all out now. All the songs are out, so I want to focus on my top 10 vocals and top 10 predictions on who I think is going to win before we get to the semi-finals and the qualifiers and all of that stuff. So today I'm going to be looking at the revamp from Albania. Now you might remember I've already done a reaction to this song, but this was the first version of it and it was a live performance and I felt that although the song was very good, uh, and the just overall vibe of it was great. It seemed a little bit bitty, like it had these gaps in it. It didn't flow that well for me. So I'm going to see what they've done to the revamp. Is it as broken up or is it more, uh, more of a sort of synced together single? Let's dive in. This video looks really epic already. Uh, the harmonies on the vocals at the beginning feels very effective. That beat is so intense, it really hits you. Okay, the lyrics are, um, yeah, a little weak at the beginning, but it's okay, it will build. Uh, put your hands on my body, come to me, uh, but, uh, yeah, okay. Come on closer to me, I'm here, cause I love when I'm near, near. Come on down in the via, via, come baby, put it on me. Come baby, put it on me, so it rhymes. Okay. Excellent production on this one, just like the last one that I reacted to. Really, really clean and clear. Uh, well thought out, not overly done on the auto tune, but there's definitely plenty of effects on there. The vocals are very much layered up. Now this version sounds much more contemporary, more fresh than the last one. The last one seemed, because of the way it was broken up, it was almost like made for a, a award ceremony, you know, those big epic performances. And I didn't feel that, you know, it would necessarily work for just a video as such or the single, but this is much better so far. <laughs> Okay, good option for a, a really good dance break there for the stage, on stage. Look at that hair! The 
that is a lot of hair extensions. Oh my goodness, whose idea was that? It looks really cool though. Macalon, Macalon, hey. So many harmonies. I will never regret. You won't be my secret. Baby, fear my body. Talk, I talk, I love, I like it. Hey, I will never regret. You won't keep my secret. Oh, no, get it. No, get it. I got no need. Excellent vocals, really well belted there. Um, I, I don't know, I, I think the song is great in terms of production and the vocals and all of that. Um, but the lyrics, simplistic and they work well. Let's put it that way. Okay, we're a vampire now. Oh, another break for dancing. You see, this is where I wasn't sure the first time round. I thought there was too many breaks. These, This riff is great, I get that, but I'm still dubious on the length of them. Shorten them down. Don't milk those dance breaks too much. Obviously, it's not just dance break. It's a musical interlude as well. So if that guy goes with her, that's what happens. <laughs> she turns into a vampire and they have dance breaks and there's awesome music and there's a lot of road stuff. Um, it's definitely better than the first version, but I still think that those dance breaks are a little too many bars too long. I think, you know, a, just a couple of rounds and then straight back into the song. I think that that, ex I don't know, might work really well on stage, but I still feel that those those breaks, the instrumental bits are a bit long. Uh, I love the production. I think it is a strong song, simple, to the point kind of lyrics about fire and just, yeah, you know what it's about. I don't think I really need to explain it having just watched the video. Um, but let me know what you think of this one. Do you prefer the revamp to the original? Uh, and I'm really looking forward to see how they stage this one. Obviously, it's going to have some really good dance moves, I would say. I wonder if she does the hair for the finals as well. Hmm, we'll see. Might be difficult dancing with that on her head. Anyway, let me know what you think of this one. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching my video. I am very grateful. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, loves.